um, we're going to start with uh, a discussion about the um, the JSC transportation incident, with which some people spoke about. I know for um, pretty much everyone in the community, whether you have a kid who uh, takes special education van services or not, this is a a pretty jarring um, pretty jarring incident for I think everyone in the community, and you know leaves that that just kind of takes the ground out from underneath you in terms of, you know, what you thought you knew and, and, you know, what, what it meant to be safe. Um, I know there's been some frustration in the community about the amount of communication. Um, I can tell you definitively that, you know, outside of maybe uh, a, a relatively insignificant detail or two, no one on this committee knows anything beyond what the public knows. This was a law enforcement investigation that was handled by law enforcement. Uh, the NPS obviously cooperated uh, to every extent possible with law enforcement, but at no point were we privy to really any of the information, the investigation, and um, really at no point, uh, you know, w when we even even knew of its existence were we able to speak about it so I, I just want that out there and i understand the frustration of folks in the community um i would certainly feel that as a parent uh i felt that as a parent um even you know in in the seat i'm sitting in here so um with that i guess dr nolan is there anything you'd like to add no, I, I think we're all pretty shaken by this situation. Um, you know, our transportation office, all educators, all of us just feel deeply worried about it. Um, you know, I, I want to say to you, I'm always open. We are always open as a school system to how we can improve um, situations. There's one piece that we just can't predict is when a bad actor is going to do a bad action. And, you know, that is the situation that we're here with tonight. Uh, the speaker previous speaking about, you know, how there's there's no bat, there's no check that we can do for future poor intentions for um, for a person, and if they don't have any criminal history, and then we we can't we can't predict that. That said, we certainly are um, re looking at all of our ride protocols, everything we can do to make um, bus riding safe. Um, I can't tell you, and nor, no superintendent should, that you she can guarantee the safety of your children at all time. That's just not something that I can guarantee because the world works the way it works. That said, we can always do better, and we're working with our partners to do that. I think the committee knows, and if the public doesn't, there are limited vendors that provide busing services and that also bid for our contracts. And when we put out what we expect from our um our vendors, uh, only limited responses come back. For example, Mr. Hurley will tell you that for our yellow bus contract, one person bids for, one company bids for those contracts. And so there is um, there is then an interactive dialogue about what we need in those contracts. And in recent years, um, just to sort of answer one of the questions that has been raised, in recent years, videos have been, video cameras have been put on all types of transportation that were not um, previously in vans or buses. And tonight in your MASC resolutions, you're going to see a call for proposal for yet another type of video monitoring to be put on stop signs that swing out onto the arms of, of buses that they are that they are stopped. So there's always innovations in the field that have been added. Um, I guess what folks really need to hear and understand is that while we have an MOU with the Newton Police Department, we do not have the right to know about criminal investigations and those outcomes. Um, unlike what we see on television, the police do not share those things with us. It's not, um, they're not checking in with us and updating us on the, the outcomes of their investigation. And so uh, talk about feeling helpless during, uh, during those situations. The conversations reported from the police here by a community member are not ones that have been shared with us or our attorneys. And, um, and they wouldn't be. And it's not the scope of our MOU with them, um, our memorandum of understanding with the police. Um, but we have cooperated in every way. And we are uh, happy to think of new solutions. Um, Regina Moody and I have been meeting with all of our transportation vendors to do a thorough review of what are we doing for safety? What can we be doing better? What can you offer us now? 
Uh, we have a community in crisis and we want to respond to that crisis.